about the meter. Okay, you guys are familiar with with your meters. Not every meter is the same. Okay, you have ohm scale, which measures resistance, and then you have voltage. Those are the two main scales we need to worry about or know about. The ohms is going to tell you about continuity, whether you have a good heating element or a bad heating element, a good high limit or a bad high limit. Okay, if you don't have continuity, you have a bad part. Continuity means you have a continuous circuit. Okay, Elect electricity is going to flow through the circuit. Okay, I have two heating elements over here. This is a bad heating element, not because it's dirty, because it's bad, resistance wise. This is a good one, brand new. Okay, a new heating element or a good heating element is going to read continuity and approximately 10 to 15 ohms. This um, heater is, is reading 12 ohms. Okay, it's a good heater. This heater here has no continuity. It's bad. Okay, the electricity cannot flow through it to heat. This one, you hear the beep. Now, not all meters beep. So if you don't have a beep on your meter, you're going to read your reading, okay? So we just want to make sure we put it on the ohm scale to measure continuity. That's the upside down horseshoe. It looks like an upside down horseshoe, okay? It's the omega symbol. All right. Now on the machine, to do a quick test, we'll shut the machine off. We like to unplug the unit. Okay, you have a machine that's not getting hot. Um, we got to pop the top to get to the heater. Four screws in the top of this unit. You have to you have to remove the uh, the bean hopper. The bean hopper has two screws. You just have to loosen them. And the bean hopper should pop right out. The top comes off. Okay. Now. We want to test for continuity on the heater. Again, my meter is on the ohm scale. And if you come across the heater, you have a good heater, right? Over here, you have your high limit is attached to your relay. Your high limit, if the relay gets too hot, the high limit's going to open. It's not going to let electricity current flow th to your heater. Okay, it's the same test. It's a continuity test. If this, you have two legs on this high limit. You want to expose them so you can get your meter on it. And sometimes they're a little tight. So sometimes what you can do is you can take the wire that comes from there and just remove it from the relay and use that as one metering point because it's going to that stud. And then you can catch this one here. Okay? And you have continuity. So now you know your circuit is complete. If that does if you don't have continuity on your high limit, you're not going to get power here. If you don't have continuity on your on your heater, you're not going to get heat. If those are both good and you're still not getting heat, your temp probe is bad. Okay? So let's just do these quick tests. Either way, you have to get in here. If it's got to be the heater, the temp probe, or the relay, you still have to get this part of the machine apart. So it, it was pretty quick. Four screws, loosen those two, pop the hopper, and check and do your meter tests, okay? We can do voltage checks too, um, and that's getting deeper, but... We'll save that for another time, all right? So let's just make sure 
we have good components. If we have good components, then we'll have to look at our fuses and our power box and stuff like that. Okay? Mm -hmm. Good job. Thank you.